Well, the Macliardi Lang Show. You know, the day they shoot the last progressive insurance commercial with that redheaded woman who does them, yeah. I want to go. I want to go to that rap party, Flo. Yeah. I want to go to that rap party and say some things about Flo's performance. Mm -hmm. How much longer is that going to go on? <laughs> Does anyone find them entertaining the progressive commercials no. with Flo? My dad goes literally <laughs> insane. He about loves the, them? No, he hates it. Oh, no, I know. He's going nuts about it every time I talk to him on but the But that's floor. the only reaction I could see someone having besides indifference. Like, right. like, in other words, I can't see someone, a human being, being entertained by that. No. Like, the only other sane reaction is your father's. Like, what's stopping <laughs> me from driving there and... And and caving in her face with a bat. Uh, talk mm. about the easiest gig, though. Your cousin thinks she's hot. Yeah, oh, a, it, it drives me on. crazy. It drives me crazy no. when I'm watching. He's like, he's like, oh, I do her. Your cousin also a Met fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm doing her and thinking she's hot are two different no, things. No, he thinks she's hot too. He thinks she's attractive. Your it sounds right, like though, your buddy. cousin doesn't Sorry. know what uh, his sexual orientation is. And Mike, would you to send, cover that up? Mike, would you send her an Instagram? Yeah, she's a cutie. I'll do her. Uh, no, I just, I just. Well, if, I know if, what you're talking about. If you could use your show business connections, Dan, and find when the last progressive commercial with Flo is shot, it, I'd like an invite to the rap party. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I have a toast. I have a toast I'm planning. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's going to lead to a lot of good film work for her. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Yeah. So Boschetti sends out Instagram, you know, but he's not always good with the. Ca he, he does them himself with the camera, and sometimes he misses his face, <laughs> which I don't know how that's. <laughs> How that's possible? I mean, Sam Peckinpah could shoot his face. I'm like, <laughs> Howard Hawks. But here's, okay, here's one that's kind of disturbing. Here's oh, last night's one. But you got, Mike, did you know you have an enormous booger? No. I just shot it. Like... What is the subject of this? I don't know. I forgot. I, I did he a does lot. a lot of anti-bullying. Uh, we, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we have the Instagram. It's Tommy. Dude, that looks like an old lady. All right, this is anti-bullying. Go ahead. Hey everybody, episode two of my web shares with my friend Ken Burmeister, Tubby Man, is going to be on Blip TV today, 12, 12 on Blip TV. Go to www.savemetubbyman.com and enjoy it. Thank you. I'm sure a lot of people I got wrote that down. Wow. <laughs> hey, was there a I big did. response to that? Did you, I haven't uh... checked it yet. I, 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 when I get home, I'm going to see what's going on. Yeah. Can I predict how many people responded? <laughs> uh, 46. I'm going with the big goose egg on this one. <laughs> you said it too fast. You got to repeat it. And is that a booger, Mike? I don't know. What. I can't. It I is. It is. It's a beauty, oh, thanks, Mike. Thanks, I appreciate it. It looks like a scab. Uh, Mike, you're representing this show. We can't have you have stuff on your nose. You might want to think of another look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, but uh, I found a person I can goof on a besmirch now. Who's that? Besmirch. Oh, besmirch. Nice. He's saying besmirch an awful lot, though. He's oh, over okay. Like, that's besmirch. his new word, and he's yeah. just breaking it in? What yeah. about hiring a camera guy, a separate camera guy for your Instagrams? Well, he does them in his bedroom, though. <laughs> so? Wait, you took the, and this is the one you went with? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen the other options, bro. <laughs> yeah, were the other the, options, can was I like, see, yeah. were the other options literally a tarantula crawling on your face? <laughs> <laughs> can you see, you want to see the other option? Can you JPEG the other options for us? I don't, I don't know how to JPEG. By the way, Mike Pichetti, severe heart attack survivor. Right? Is that true? Yes. I didn't know you had a heart attack. You didn't, how do you not know that? There are all these, how long has he been working on the show? You're right. Wow, wait, I wait, should wait, know wait. that. Well, I came close to it, but I was cool. Wait, oh, when, did you or not? You no. did have one. You mean was, when you were here? No, no, no. This is many oh. years ago. I could have sworn you had a serious heart attack. I came very close, Russ, back in 96. But what do you mean very close? <laughs> I had really bad chest pains. I was in the hospital. Yeah, that's called a heart attack. It's called a heart attack. <laughs> no, but I don't think it, I don't think it happened. I mean, My heart got attacked. Know. Well, he said, very that, handsome, he though, said right? that here, remember? And then he willed not to have a heart attack. Don't you remember that? That was Mike, like a couple months ago. don't say that because you're not going to get hired for movies. You want a six-month shoot. If you're going to be Jean Valjean and Les Miserables, you got to be healthy. Yeah. <laughs> what about your glasses? You look, like, really disturbing there, Mike. I mean, <laughs> you look like a Chinaman. Oh, no. It's better with the glasses on. The glasses off are horrendous. No, I'm not asking oh, you to take them off. Thanks, Mr. Uh, Sterling Optical over there. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sterling Optical. <laughs> All over you. Can we hear the Can we hear the Instagram again? I, I want you guys to think. Give me your thoughts on this. What What does it sound like that is stuck in his throat? Think. Listen, listen to what's What is stuck in his throat? Listen to this. Hey everybody, episode two of my web shares with my friend Ken Burmeister, Tubby Man, is going to be on Blip TV today. Twelve, twelve on Blip TV. Go to www.savemetubbyman.com and enjoy it. Thank you. You gotta love him. Oh my God. There's another one. 
Who the? Oh! Oh! I think it sounds oh. like he swallowed. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah, but you know my favorite one. It sounds like he swallowed a gerbil with mayonnaise. <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, but when Phillies get that just dessert, so I like, love that. They're casting Throw Mama from the Train too. <laughs> uh, we think you can. <laughs> Owen, you stupid poop. Owen, you stupid poop. I found our new Mrs. Downfire. <laughs> Mike, do you think the DirecTV executives, I mean, now it's coming where they may pick us up, they may not. And, and, you know, they I've been trying whole, to weed myself off it. Really. They have a whole team of people who uh, decide whether or not we're appealing on television. No, no, I'm trying to weed myself off. I haven't, uh, you know. Wean yourself off what? <laughs> off off, off uh, Instagram. I don't know. Yeah, you don't look, it's not, it's not flattering. But I'm, I'm trying to lose weight at the same time I have, though. So far. How, how much you lose? I'm going to weigh myself tonight. Probably at least 20-something. Oh, nice. Have you passed the gerbil yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're looking at a good 14 pounds. Right? Uh, all right. Well, yeah, I mean, I just, I agree with Dan in the sense that, um, I don't know what's more disturbing. That last one looked like you were unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you were a kidnap victim in the last I, one. I, I watch. I'm all kidding. What's <laughs> the, 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 can you put up this, your best? This look, he has oh, a look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, but, it's a look like he just realized that the flush didn't go down in the toilet. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Oh. Uh, damn, what, what about all those red easy, towels on Audie's floor? Watch your, watch your airspeed. <laughs> <laughs> we're not that. Uh, what I'm saying is, we're not as cute as the cast of iCarly. Yeah, but, yeah, but one, yeah, but one, yeah, but one thing about that. Back way. after this. Okay. Uh. Welcome back to the Audio Act Show, reminiscing some of our favorite Mad TV moments. <laughs> uh, so we're just watching Tubby Man, which is in fact episode one. Uh, a, a, an episode. Uh, a, Tubby Man's a superhero that saves kids from being bullied. That Mike developed, and right. he shot two episodes. I, you, it's you and Ashley Larry, Darnell Rawlings. Uh, he was in the first episode. Donnell is his father. He still father. got that thing in his throat. Donnell plays your father. <laughs> My stepdad, yeah. Now, do, do any fans of the show on Twitter think it's odd that as a 52-year-old white man, your father's a 44-year-old black guy? <laughs> <laughs> Stranger things have happened on the planet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but he's very serious in it. This is yeah. a serious scene. Yeah. It, no, it, it's compelling. It, yeah. I'm, I'm really into it. Makes oh, me want to go beat up a kid. Two minutes in. <laughs> Casey, you were probably a big bully in high school. No, right? never, never. Now, no. you strike me as a guy who might have bullied some people. No, 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 no. I was never a bully. I, uh, <laughs> you know, I was always uh, compassionate. Always. <laughs> I'm really? serious. No, I'm not. I, what I'm about not college? Like, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. You know, we, uh, well, there was guys that would piss, that would, pee, that would, that would right. pee on uh, each other in the shower. And I think by the, way, I, by the way, with our delay, that's going to air, which you just said Monday. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I, no, I got it. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry about that. They would guys, pee in the shower? Yeah, on, uh, so. on, on like the freshmen. That was the, the, <laughs> that was the, that was the hazing. That's hilarious. Though. And that's, you know, that's as bad as I What got. about like Richie Incognito? Were there any racist voicemails? Of there? course. <laughs> yeah, well, not, you know, uh, voicemails, but, you know, in the locker room, people talk, you know. Let me tell you something. That voicemail Incognito left. I, uh, my best friend in high school was black. <laughs> And I was his best man at his wedding. That was basically my speech. <laughs> <laughs> you laughed at it, right? Yeah. And yeah. this guy, the other guy laughed at it too. Yeah. Right? I, I don't I don't get all the you know the the big thing about Everybody's it. Everybody's no, uptight now. Everybody's I know the guy and, and you know what he opened a can of worms that's gonna screw him too, Mark. Yeah. You know? Oh totally. Yeah. I would never he's, have him on he's not gonna play him either. Over. Yeah. And no one's gonna want him either, exactly. I would You're still have incognito out? on. You're ratting out what no, happened? People, people will, yeah. Incognito will still He knows. I was just gonna yeah, say, yeah, I, yeah, of course. I would, would still have, I would have incognito on my team and not yeah. the other guy. You don't oh, want to rat. Everyone jumped in his rat. defense. It's like I just saw the other day, uh, th there's a true story. Oh, a couple in Long Island were convicted of uh, raping animals that they had, and one of the animals was a parrot. No. Uh. <laughs> would you rape with one animal that could tell somebody? <laughs> <laughs> The one benefit of sex it. with an animal is they're not going to say it. <laughs> you, you, you could gag them. <laughs> probably want a penis. Probably want a penis. <laughs> By the way, very disturbing. <laughs> What's his name what from, from the Chargers? Phil Rivers. Rivers. <laughs> Why is he going to bowl a tie? I don't know. He had one on last oh. weekend, too. I mean, oh my, and uh, He's a he weird was, dude. He, he was is, skewered for it. He looks annoyingly energetic, though, you know? Everyone said he looked He's like Woody football, from yeah. uh, well, they, they, Toy Story. Well, they beat Denver, so. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. sure it's good. They beat Denver. Yeah, they beat Denver because they ran the ball 44 times, not because Philip Rivers did uh, his 
do part. And well, no, that means the Jets are uh, pretty much out of it now. He looks like maybe yeah. the most annoying person who's ever spoken in that bullet tie, the way he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a, just the worst guy at a Klan meeting. Uh, Sebastian <laughs> no. Maniscalco. I got a feeling that sitcom is going to be a classic. Mike Farron. <laughs> yeah. I love Mike Farron. Russ Maneve, love you. Uh, come love back you, again. Oh, I'd love to. Casey Armstrong. Love you, man. If you can leave the tobacco at home, you can come back. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.